Fasting is a discipline of staying away from food for a period of time, so we can concentrate on our spiritual lives and find satisfaction in God. When we fast, there is nothing distracting us from hearing from God. There are some situations and storm we face in life and it looks like there is a delay to answer to our prayers. It takes us fasting, focusing and relying on God to finally get what we need. Here are some of the signs or things happening around you that you need to go on the fast urgently or immediately. Good morning, Professor. Morning, Beauty. I was going through your scripts and I discovered you didn't do well in my course. What happened? You're currently a 4.5 student and if you fail this course, you're going to graduate with a lower grade. No sir, that's not true. I answered all of the questions correctly and I'm very sure of it. Even if you repeat all the questions now, I can tell you the answers perfectly. That's not important. I have been begging you for sex for a long time but you've refused. You better decide now or else you have no option but to graduate with the third class. No sir. That's not possible. My body is the temple of God and I cannot sleep with you. But that's what your colleagues are doing to pass my course. It's very simple. You sleep with me and graduate with distinction. No, please. Professor, please stop it. Stop it or else I'll report you. You want to report me? You really don't want to graduate then. Get out of my office right now before you get me angry. We shall see who has the upper hand. Beauty, have you seen our analytical chemistry result? I got an A. I saw it and I'm not happy at all. I got an F. An F. What happened? I don't believe it. You, that's always passing with distinction? That means you will have to reset the exams and you'll be delayed because you won't be graduating with us. Unfortunately, that's what it means. I'm happy for you though. The first sign that you need to fast urgently or immediately is when you have unusual delays in your life. You might be experiencing delay in your career, business, school or ministry. That's a sign that you need to fast. Whatever delay you're facing in life, it could be a contract that has refused to be approved, a course that you've been failing, and just like Sister Beauty in this video, a lecturer vowed to delay her, it could be a delay in marriage, a delay in getting that job. We need to deny ourselves of food and fast. Like I keep saying, the delay we experience might be either from God, ourselves and the devil. The devil uses delay to distract, discourage and destroy us. Whether it's a delayed marriage, childbearing, education, breakthrough or promotion. The ultimate aim is to deny or deprive us of what we need to be comfortable and happy. The devil doesn't want you to manifest and fulfill your purpose on earth. And whenever you know you're experiencing delay, fast and pray and arrest that power that's causing delays in your life. Don't just skip meals to lose weight or you're busy or tired to cook and you think that's fasting. Be intentional and set time to fast and focus on God. Study your Bible, worship God and pray and by the grace of God, the delay will be broken in Jesus' name. Amen. I pray for you watching this video that you'll no longer be delayed, forsaken and abandoned. Let every chains of delay be broken in your life, I command every power holding you down to break in Jesus' name. You will not be late in life. According to the word of God in Psalm 90, 14, O oh, satisfy us early with thy mercy, that we may rejoice and be glad all our days. May the Lord satisfy you early. You'll not struggle in life. I command every spirit of litness and delay attached to your life and destiny to expire by fire. You're free from every power of delay in Jesus' name. Amen. You're still here? But, I told you. You can never pass this exams without my help. You'll soon leave with a third class at this rate if you don't comply. You'll tell me whether you're better than the ones that complied. That's why we are different. One thing I know is that you are not God. All right then. Beauty Williams, I, Professor Charles is waiting to see how you'll pass this course without my help.
I am so angry right now and I don't even know what to do again. One thing I know is that I'll never sleep with that man. I feel so lazy to pray. I should pray about this, but I'm finding it so difficult to pray. God, please help me. Give me the grace and the strength to pray. Another sign that you need to fast immediately is when you're finding it so difficult to pray. An attack on your prayer life is an attack on your destiny. We manifest the authority that we have in Christ Jesus in the place of prayers. It shields you from the hostility of the enemies. If you don't pray, the enemy will have access to you easily and when you don't pray, nothing happens. We can correct, rearrange and fix things in the place of prayer. Daniel 2 verse 22 says he revealeth the deep and secret things, he knoweth what is in the darkness and the light dwells in him. When you fast and pray, God will reveal deep secrets to you and you'll be able to pray and correct or fix it. Whenever the devil wants to stop you from getting your miracles or breakthroughs, he will make you weak in the place of prayer. If you used to wake up to pray in the midnight, you'll no longer be able to do that. You'll even find yourself waking up at the midnight hours to press your cell phones or laptop. You'll just get addicted to social media that as you wake up in the morning, the first thing you'll do will be to press your cell phones. You no longer read the Bible and pray but you'll become addicted to your cellular phones, laptops and gossips. And at your vulnerable moment, the time you don't even remember God, your spiritual life is weak and you're not putting on the whole armor of God, the enemy strikes and you'll not be able to withstand him. Please, when you notice that you're weak spiritually, try and fast immediately. Fasting empowers your spiritual life. You'll be able to focus on God without any distraction and you'll grow spiritually. Fasting will draw you closer to God. Psalm 63 verse 1 says, O God, Thou art my God. Early will I seek Thee, my soul thirsteth for Thee, my flesh longs for Thee in the dry and thirsty land, where no water is. Isaiah 40 verse 31 says, But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength, they shall mount up with wings as eagles, they shall run and not be weary, and they shall walk and not faint. When you wait upon the Lord in the place of fasting and prayers, your strength is renewed. May the Lord help us to always pray without ceasing in Jesus' name. Amen. Why are you pursuing me? Please, do not come closer. Bad dream. Bad dream. My neck, my neck. I plead the blood of Jesus Christ over my life. Let me call my mum even though it's late. She might be awake. Beauty dear, why are you calling me by this time? It's past midnight. Mum, I had a terrible nightmare, plus everything that has been happening to me. I find it difficult to pray and now, I don't even understand if I'm weak spiritually because in my dream, I was attacked by a masquerade and the masquerade caught up with me. I am so tired of everything. Professor Charles is really frustrating me. I feel so frustrated and angry. My mates have graduated and moved on but I'm still here. Why am I struggling even when I'm doing the right thing? I'm so sorry for your experience. You see, life is full of ups and downs, but the only person we can look up to, is God because he's the author and finisher of our faith. He makes every impossibility to become possible, and when men say there's a casting down, he'll lift us up. Don't be discouraged by everything going on. Keep trusting God and you should fast and pray. You just faced a witchcraft attack in your dreams. If you've not been praying, Please start fasting and praying immediately and watch God turn things around for your good. What your enemy meant for evil, God is going to turn it around for your good. You are going to pass that course and graduate with flying colors in Jesus' name. I'll be praying for you. Thank you so much, Mom. I'll fast and pray as you've said. I'll start fasting regularly, at least twice or more a week. Let me allow you to sleep. Say hello to dad for me when he wakes up. Bye. 
Another sign that you need to fast is when you start having dreams that indicates witchcraft or satanic attacks. We all know that the spiritual controls the physical, so when you start having these kind of dreams especially if you're not victorious in the dream, do not ignore it. Please wake up from your slumber and fast and pray. I did a video recently on 7 dangerous dreams you must not ignore, if you've not watched it, please try and watch. I'll post the link in the description and the pinned comment. My prayer is that the Lord will deliver us from every witchcraft and satanic attacks in Jesus' name, Amen. It's almost 6 in the morning. I should start my fasting now. My television is off, my phone is on vibration, because I don't need any disturbance. Now, I can start with praise and worship, before I begin to pray. Father, I declare that I love you. Your banner over me is love, and your faithfulness is ever sure. Thank you for loving me just as I am, thank you for fighting my battles, thank you for your mercies and compassion that has not failed and will not fail concerning me this year. To you be all the glory in Jesus' name. I come to your throne of mercy and ask for the forgiveness of sin. Have mercy upon me, O Lord, in Jesus' name. I take spiritual authority over the spiritual and physical atmosphere of this fasting. According to the word of God in Daniel 10 verse 12 to 13, I bind and stop every prince of Persia or hinderhood spirit that wants to block my prayers. Lord, show me mercy today. Father, Every hindrance to my breakthrough, I command it to be removed by fire. Whosoever that has vowed that I will not graduate, whosoever that is standing as a stumbling block on my way. According to your word in Isaiah 57 verse 14, and shall say, Cast up, cast ye up, prepare the way, take up the stumbling block out of the way of my people. Every stumbling block on my path, I command it to be rolled away. Every stumbling block in my way, be removed right now in Jesus' name. Every satanic or human resistance meant to disrupt and deny me of my blessings, according to the word of God in Zechariah 3 verse 2, I rebuke you right now, be shattered in Jesus' name. Father, plead my cause and let the enemies of my elevation be cut off in Jesus' name. I declare your word in Psalm 35 verse 1, plead my cause O Lord with them that strive with me. Fight against them that fight against me. Take hold of shield and buckler, and stand up for mine help. Father, attend to my cry and remember me today for my case is urgent. Take away every delay from my life in Jesus' name. Father, when you remembered Esther, her story changed. Remember me for good and let my story change. Let the wind of glory blow to my direction. You powers behind constant delay in my life, submit to the power of God in the name of Jesus. As I'll write this exams again, Father favor me and make me to excel. My scripts and marks shall not be transferred to another person and I shall come out with distinction in Jesus' name. Thank you Father for answered prayers. I know and I believe that you'll do all what I've asked for in the mighty name of Jesus Christ I pray, Amen. Another sign that you need to fast and pray urgently or immediately is when you're trusting God for divine intervention and unanswered prayers. That's when your prayers are not answered. We fast to seek divine intervention in our lives and if you have certain things that you've been trusting God for and it looks like your request has not been granted or your prayers has not been answered, then you should go on a fast. I hope we all know that Satan will always try to block our prayers, I did a video on this and used Daniel 10 as reference. Daniel's prayer was being hindered by the prince of Persia for 21 days, but he continued to pray until the angel revealed it to him. Do not be tired of fasting and praying, if Daniel had stopped praying and given up after a few days, maybe he won't have received the answer to his prayers. You need to break and destroy the spiritual opposition through continuous fasting and prayers so that your prayers will be answered. Have you all heard? What? You better come and have your seat before Professor Charles comes and send you out of his class. 
Well, he won't be coming today and again because he's been transferred. What? Really? Is this true? Yes. I went to his office to inform him that we are ready and his secretary told me that he's been transferred. That another lecturer will be taking analytical chemistry. Who did this? Jesus, thank you for this. One stumbling block has been taken out of my way. I am so happy. Where will I get money to pay for his course before I can get the distinction? He's such a wicked professor. You can say that again. Our result is out and you got an A. That's a distinction. Congratulations, I am so happy for you. Thank you so much. I am very happy because I can finally graduate. The new professor was so impressed. You know Professor Charles really tried to frustrate me. I even questioned myself, I know what I wrote so why did I fail? But all that is in the past now. I'm so grateful to finally be out of here. Good luck in your future endeavors. Thank you. Hi everyone, thank you for watching. I want to encourage us to always fast and pray and before you begin, think about why you want to fast. What do you want to achieve? It is important to have the right mindset before you start. Pray for discipline and a strong will to complete the fast. Please note that when we fast, we are admonished to pray. If you don't pray or read your Bible, then you're on hunger strike against yourself. Please, remember to subscribe, give this video a thumbs up and share this video. Thank you for always watching, God bless you and perfect all that concerns you in Jesus name, Amen.